Now one of the things I want to do is I want to actually put in something called smart art. But even before we get into smart art, one of the things I need to do is I need to create a new section inside of Word. So section, what does that even mean? Well, if we head over to our page layout tab, you're going to notice that we have a few things for my page, how I laid it out. One of them is known as my breaks button and this is going to allow me to select a number of options like uh, page breaking but you're going to see that there is a section called section breaks now if I select next page inside the section breaks portion what that does is it gives me technically a page break technically but what actually happens is notice that say uh, section break that's happened here is now I'm saying that that this section here has a completely new format to it and something that I can do is I can actually change for example the orientation of just this section notice if I zoom out a little bit uh, here's portrait landscape uh, or portrait document portrait document landscape document ah, that's in that special so now, again, uh, like I said, uh, even before I, I get into the idea of uh, smart art, if we head back over to our tab, you know, once upon a time back in my day, we had to walk uphill five miles in the snow to just show a circle in Microsoft Word, and we liked it. We loved it. But this idea still holds on. Uh, if I want to, say, for example, just draw a shape, I have all of these different options such as, say for example, the square, the rectangle. Now I can mess around with this as necessary and one of the things that Microsoft uh, saw when they were designing out Word back in the day was the fact that people were designing these things out to do particular tasks. They were doing uh, flowcharts, you know, workflows. High, uh, uh, organizational charts you know who's the head honcho and who well, who are the supervisors and who is the supervisors of the supervisors and who works under who and all, all that uh, fun stuff well what they decided to do in that case was they went well okay if people are gonna make these things there, there's a set standard to them so why don't we just make them a thing smarter and so that's exactly what uh, they did is they, they went ahead and started to allow us this ability of doing smart arts. Now, if we keep on going with this idea of doing a site survey, you know, well, all right, I'll pick something like the process, if you will, and I'm going to just select that step up process right there. Now, the idea behind smart art is the fact that smart art will appropriate will uh, change appropriately to how it, it needs what it needs to so let me let me just fix this a little bit so we can all see this a little better come here there we are where are there we are Aha! So what did I just do there? So that little thing over there, layout options, I just clicked on that and I selected the uh, behind text or in front of text, but I just need to move it so that when I click on it, you can see this type text here section. So again, we're talking about the site survey. All right, well, how do I want to present this? Uh, so in my case, all right, what's the first thing I need to do when I uh, kind of am working on a consulting firm. All right, so the first thing I need to do is uh, perform the uh, audit, I guess you would say, on the system, perform the audit. All right, uh, so um, record, uh, skip it, I don't like record. Uh, make recommendations. Notice what's happening as I type. My code, my my uh, my graphics, my texts are shrinking down as I do this. And all right, make recommendations. Yeah, get approval. Uh, get approval. Now I wanted to just pick up get approval because all right, I'm out of pictures and bullet points. So is that three? 
three things. It's a three-step process. It looks all right. Now. If I hit enter, notice what happened. Boom! It just immediately, just immediately. There we are. It just immediately gave me uh, a new one to work from. So implement changes. So I can start to flesh this out. And now I can adjust this as I expand this using those resize anchors that I had from Microsoft Word Tutorial 1. As I resize this, as you can see, I can expand it out in any way I need to. And again, just like we saw with tables, I've got a design tab where I can change the colors. I can make this as uh, beautiful or as generic as I want. So, ooh, look at that. A whole lot of color going on. I can even change how it will look. So suddenly I change it from one color scheme to another or change it from one process to another. It all matters on how you tackle the problem.